when you have the ability to step outside your comfort zone, you know, amazing things can happen. I give all that credit to Gary V. You know, in some form or fashion, we we have listened to him. He inspired me for years until I really made a conscious effort to do it. But recently, I went and bought, again, back to those smiley balloons. I bought 30 smiley balloons. I painted a giant-ass poster. I went on a busy intersection last week, and I literally stood out there. And I said, Will, you know, honk for smiles. Stay positive. You're so loved. And what I didn't realize was holding a sign up, even though the thing weighed about as light as three feathers, <laughs> actually is hard on the arms. And after about 15 minutes, I turned to my girlfriend who was videoing me and said, I'm exhausted. <laughs> but, but again, the reaction of people as hundreds yeah. of cars, you know, again, it was a light traffic day, but you don't realize, you know, as you're sitting there watching cars flow by the number of cars that actually drove through the intersection and slowed down and hit the horn. I found myself after five minutes crying. I'm like, people get it, man. We, we want to be inspired, yeah. you know, to, to feel the love and positivity. And again, it shouldn't take some random dude going on a street corner to do it. But again, you know, as we try to find all these creative ways now, to continue to show people love and positivity through the use of smiling. Um, I found myself on a street corner with 30 balloons tied to my back belt loop, you know, hanging out there just to try to make strangers smile and to know too that they're loved, that we care about them, that, Hey, you can do this. We can make it through. Even if we're on the front end of something that may last, we can get through this.